Hello everyone, may the peace of Christ be with you all. My name is Zach Mazurik, seminarian for the Diocese of Marquette. I am coming to you live from Houghton, Michigan, where I'm serving as the uh, Totus Tuus intern. So, quick plug in for that. If you haven't been able to get access to our materials yet, please do that. Register at uh, mtucatholic.org slash totus tuus to get access to our, to our content and videos, uh, lessons that we are doing this summer. Um, as missionaries, we have a great team of college students who are um, promoting that material and trying to get that out to you as families, uh, friends, communities, neighborhoods, uh, both here in the diocese and everywhere that you know we can share it. So, if you have friends or family from other places around the country, you can share that with them too. We're trying to just spread, spread the joy, spread the hope, especially in these, these, these difficult times. And so how fitting it is um, as we celebrate today the feast, the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, this mystery of his infinite love and mercy that is being poured out for us. And we see this most clearly in the sacrifice of him on the cross and his love for us. And we pray this in the, in the Divine Mercy Chaplet, the blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. And this blood and water represents the, the, the two kind of key hinge sacraments that we celebrate as Catholics. The water represents, represents the baptism, the cleansing baptism that Christ offers to us for the forgiveness of our sins. And then the blood represents what sustains us in him, uh, the Eucharist that we, that we are able to participate in every time we go to Mass. So these two kind of dimensions are what Christ is pouring out to us every time that we, we receive him, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. So hopefully you can kind of meditate on that and pray with that today um, as, you're, as you maybe are going to be able to go to Mass um, or even if you're participating through, through these means, but just to, just to know that, that kind of burning love that Christ has for you. So when I was praying with this, sometimes it, it can be kind of difficult to wrap our mind around uh, as, as just mere creatures, mere humans. It's such kind of a deep mystery and so one of the things that came to my mind that I think might be helpful uh, for you, something that we can all relate to, is the, uh, the met a metaphor about Jesus' heart, which is a simple one and it's just a campfire. We, you know, in the summertime especially, we gather around for, for a campfire with maybe family or friends and there's something very kind of unique and special about kind of the time maybe spent around a fire. There can be some very, very deep kind of heartfelt conversations. We share maybe a lot of joy, maybe some sorrows, pain, and even sometimes just being together in the silence, staring at the flames and being together. There's something unique about the, the mesmerizing movements of, of the flames of the fire and that it is a unique perspective. Every person around the fire is staring at the same thing but they maybe have a different perspective, right? Like the flame may, may appear to them to be more different. They might experience more heat. They may experience more of the light flickering. And it's kind of like that with Christ and his love, unique love for each one of us, that we may have different perspectives. We may come from different places, but when we're gathered around together in community, that his love reaches out to each one of us perfectly, exactly as we need it. And so this, this fire of this, this flame that, that Christ has for each one of us is what helps us in the times when we step out maybe from the fire and we see the darkness of the world that we look out at. And only if we are rooted in that fire, that burning love of Christ that he has for us in his most sacred heart, are we then going to be able to share that with others. And so I wanted to share a verse that speaks to that from Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, verse 49, where Jesus says, I have come to set the earth on fire and how I wish it were already blazing. I think this just really speaks to how he has called us into the fire of his love, but it's not meant to just stay within each one of us as individuals, but meant to be spread and shared with others. And the only way we can do that is if we are plugged into that inner, that, that circle of his love. And a, and the metaphor of the fire isn't perfect because there's an infinite amount of space around that, that campfire. We're not, it's not just limited, there's not a limited amount of Christ's love or Christ's mercy that can be shared. Um, but we can all gather around his flame, the flame of his love that is burning for each one of us. My prayer for you is, yeah, next time maybe you're on a campfire to kind of think of that, think about that, that love, the burning fire of Christ's love that he has for you specifically, that he's he would have died for you, even if it was just you on this earth. That's how much he loves you. And so as a result of this, what is our response then? Well, it's to, it's to go out into the world and proclaim that good news and to share that light and that joy and that fire with others so that the whole world may be blazing. We hear this at the end of Mass, to go in peace, 
glorifying the Lord by your life. This isn't just kind of like a casual phrase we say, but it's, it's something that, that we're supposed to call, that we're called to live out. After we receive the Eucharist, it doesn't just end there. It has to come out into our daily lives. That is the call of us as Catholics, as Christians, that Jesus isn't just contained in a little portion of our lives, but he gives himself to us fully and completely, not holding anything back. And so he asks the same from you. Will you answer his call? May God bless you and may you press ever closer to the most sacred heart of Jesus. And may he have mercy on us and on the whole world.